Aaron, the Iron Armor Pokemon, is a third generation Steel Rock type first seen in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Its anime debut was Advanced Generation Episode 22, A Whole Lot of Trouble, and the Aaron line is based on the Bulgasari, a monster from Korean legend that eats iron. Laron also resembles a Placerius, which was a dinosaur from the Jurassic period, and Agron shares features of Triceratops and various Theropoda, which were the two-legged free-toed carnivores like the Allosaurus and T-Rex. Aaron's name is a combination of armour and iron, Laron's is a combination of either Lair or Lairy, which is a slang term for aggressive, and iron, and Agron's name combines aggressive and iron. Aaron can be found fairly early in Granite Cave in the Gen 3 games, but are only accessible after you get the Mach bike in their remakes. While its typing couldn't be worse for the fighting gym close to where you catch Aaron, it does become useful afterwards. It resists a lot of types and is even immune to poison, though at the same time it's also weak to some of the most common types around. Of all the regions it decided to show up in, it had to be the one with the most water. You have to pick your fights with the Aaron line, though that's not to say that it can't do well. Aaron has a slow levelling up rate, making it harder to train than normal, so there's a good chance that you'll still have an Aaron by the time you fight Flannery and Norman. It's definitely in your interest to evolve it though, as Laron will do much better against them both, as well as Winona and a lot of the Elite Force Pokemon. After you beat Norman in Oras, Steven will give you the Mega Bracelet at the Southern Island. This allows you to use Mega Aggron, once you get the Aggronite, which is given to you in Rust Turf Tunnel. All of the starter Pokemon have a better Mega Evolution than Aggron in most cases, but there are situations where it's a good idea to let Aggron go Mega instead. For example, it will no longer be weak to water, so Archie, Wallace and Glacier's Warren won't be the hurdles to overcome for Aggron anymore. While it will be a little difficult training Aaron in the beginning, especially in Oras as it will be underleveled, you will end up with a solid addition to any team. One thing to consider though is that the Aaron line will do worse in Sapphire and Emerald due to the existence of Team Aqua and Champion Wallace, so if you want to use it, you're better off playing Ruby. The Aaron line is also available to catch in Pokemon XD, Diamond, Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, White, Black 2, White 2, and X. In Pokemon XD, you can catch Aaron at the Cave Poker Spot. Unfortunately, finding Pokemon at Perka Spots is a lot slower than normal, so you could be waiting a while before you encounter an Aaron at a good level. If you do manage to find one though, it'll make it for a great addition to your team. Aaron has the second highest defense stat of all available Pokemon in XD, alongside Cloyster, and in a game where you're facing two Pokemon at once and Shadow types that are super effective against every other Pokemon other than itself, it's great to have Pokemon that can take multiple hits and still stand strong. Just be on the lookout for fighting, ground, and water types as they'll quite easily make your Aaron fall. Aaron is available in the after games of Diamond, Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and White. There's not too much to talk about here, so I'll just move on. Aaron is available at Mistrelton Cave in Black 2 and White 2, so about halfway through your game. It'll evolve a couple levels after you catch it, making its main issue from previous games moot, and it'll do well against the upcoming Gym Leader Scarlet, as well as some of the Elite Four. Aaron makes for a good later addition to your team if you're hurting for a physical wall or just a good immediate counter to Skylar. Laron is available on Route 18 in X, which is super late in the game. You'll probably have an established team of Pokemon by this point, but if you want a good counter to Wolfric, who is by far the most memorable gym leader in the series, then Laron will do that job nicely. Sturdy used to be a downright bad ability, preventing one-hit KO moves from working. There are only four of these moves, barely any Pokemon uses them in the main game, there's rate up bound in competitive play, and they only have a 30% chance of hitting anyway. Thankfully, the ability got a buff in Gen 5, essentially working as a built-in focus sash, preventing the Pokemon from being KO'd from full health in one hit. It's obviously not very good before Gen 5, but it's definitely good now. Its other ability, Rockhead, is also good, and is undoubtedly the better of the two in Gen 3. Rockhead makes it so the Iron Line won't take damage from recall moves, of which they have access to Double Edge, Takedown, and Head Smash. Unfortunately, Head Smash is a Gen 4 move that can only be obtained through breeding, meaning you'll have it in the Gen 3 games. The only Pokemon that can give you Head Smash in Black and White 2 are the Quirny Dust line, and it's very unlikely that you will have an Aaron with Head Smash in X either, as you need to breed one with a Tyrantrum, who doesn't learn Head Smash until level 58. It's the better of the two abilities before the Sturdy buff, but afterwards you're better off with Sturdy. Its hidden ability is Heavy Metal, which you can get from an Aaron Horde encounter. Heavy Metal doubles the Pokemon's weight, making the move Heavy Slam do double the damage to your opponents, and Low Kick and Grass Knot do double the damage to you. If you want to use Heavy Slam, which is a pretty good move on Aggron, then this is the ability for you, otherwise it's worthless. Aggron's stat total is 530, which is really good for a non-pseudo or legendary Pokemon. Its defense stat is one of the highest in the game, its attack is great, its HP is okay, and the rest of its stats suck. Aggron is one of those Pokemon that specialized in a couple of stats, with area of a stat being lackluster. It has a good niche of being a great physical wall that's capable of doing a lot of damage with moves like Head Smash and Heavy Slam, but it's just so slow that it won't last long against any special attacker with a super effective move. While Aggron is certainly usable in the main games, it's just too exploitable in competitive play to the point where no one really wants to use it. It's no surprise then that Aggron is currently in PU, the lowest smog on tier there is. Aggron's HP and special defense frankly aren't good enough for a tanky Pokemon. It's also so slow that it'll be going second the majority of the time, so don't expect it to get too many moves off. 
Thankfully though, Agron's Mega Evolution is much better. Its attack, defense and special defense got buffed even further, it lost its rock typing, which is actually better defensively, and it gained the fantastic ability, Filter. Filter weakens all Zebra effective moves by 25%, making Mega Agron even bulkier. These three things were enough to put Mega Agron in UU. It's not quite good enough to hang around with the big boys, but at least it's better than being stuck in PU. Mega Agron is a great support Pokemon, having access to moves like Smogon Stones, Raw, Thunder Wave and Toxic, and its attack is good enough for moves like Heavy Slam and Earthquake to still do respectable damage even without a boosting item. Agron can also work as a setup sweeper with Curse, though you'll also want Rest and Sleep Talk on there, meaning you'll only have access to one attacking move. You'll need to look out for strong special attackers and fire types in general like Needle King and Chandelure, who can all one or two shot Mega Agron, as well as bulky water and ground types that can warm Mega Agron, like Gliscor, Hippowdon, Suicune and Swampert. To summarise, Agron is a great Pokemon in the main games, acting as one of the best physical walls available, but in competitive play, you'll definitely want to give it a Mega Stone. Other good defensive alternatives in the main games include Skarmory, Claydol and Almaldo in Gen 3 and Oras, Baltoy, Shelda and Donphan in XD, Magnazone, Gigalith and Ferrophone in Black and White 2, and Chestnut, Mega Blastoise, and Edge Slash in X. Thanks for watching the fourth instalment in this series of videos. This channel was primarily where I upload my Twitch streams and highlights, but I've not been able to stream ever since I moved house due to the bad internet connection, so at the moment I'm exclusively uploading these kinds of videos instead. If you're interested in either type of video, subscribe to the channel in order to see the videos as soon as they come out. Thanks again.